This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, it was all green on my screen as all major averages recorded weekly gains with the Dow up six tenths of 1%, the S&P advanced 1%, and market leading NASDAQ up 2%. With the biggest move of the week coming from the emerging markets outside the US up a whopping 4%. On Thursday, the Dow ended a 13-day win streak, a length not seen since 1987. However, stocks continued their winning ways on Friday, with the Dow and the S&P closing out their third winning week in a row as the Federal Reserve's preferred measure of inflation came in at its lowest level in two years. On Friday, June data for the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, the PCE, continued to show easing inflation. Core PCE rose 4.1%, from the year ago period, lower than the anticipated 4.2%. This report was closely watched after the central bank raised interest rates earlier this week in a widely expected move. The Fed's targeting inflation at 2% annually, at least that's what they claim for now. What really got the rally going last week and dashed the hopes of the perma bears and the pessimists was second quarter GDP. Gross domestic product grew at a seasonally and inflation adjusted 2.4% annual rate. That was faster than economists expected and above the 2% growth in the first three months of this year. So as inflation falls from historic highs and the labor market remains strong, solid growth adds to the prospect of a soft landing in which inflation remains close to the Federal Reserve's target without a recession. Meanwhile, earnings season continues with 80% of companies that have reported beating on their top and bottom lines and many have offered up better forward guidance in addition to raising dividends and increasing stock buyback plans. No wonder investors were in such a good mood this week. Cooling inflation, stronger than expected GDP, and stronger than expected company earnings reports supports the case the U.S. economy is in expansion, not heading into a recession. So another great week and another great month for what has been for some a surprisingly good year. But it doesn't mean the pessimist and the wrong way Wall Street strategists will suddenly be gone or change their tune. They'll tell you they're not wrong. They're only early. They will tell you all the reasons not to invest and fail to ever tell you when you should. Your job is to ignore them, ignore the noise, and stay invested in the strategy that has the highest probability of achieving your lifetime goals. Investing is hard, and there remains plenty of concerns, plenty of bricks in the wall of worry, interest rates, sticky inflation, Russia, China, just to name a few. That's the good news. These worries and concerns creates a big wall of worry, a big wall of worry for this big booming bull market to continue to climb. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 75 years of combined industry experience of building low cost, tax efficient, goal based portfolios. For a free evaluation of your portfolio, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844- 752-6692, or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.